Hi there! Synexis coming in. Today, let's talk about some basic resistance strategies useful for beginners. It is actually a good idea to buy the beginner's pack since this lets you view replays and the minimap beforehand forever, which can be an advantage for you. Now, this is what I call the pregame. What I do here is visualize my position and the enemy position. Some strategies are effective on different positions. Now, the most useful position is both of you are on the opposite ends here and here or the other way around, here and here. In this case, play the long game. Another possible position is for both of you to be placed near each other here and here and in this case, you can rush the enemy. So here, I do this very basic build. One construction yard, one power plant. Build this first so you will have the power to build other buildings. One barracks, one vehicle factory, and one supply yard. Now this is actually a very basic build for resistance as this allows you to go for a variety of strategies. This time, train at least two infantry and two coyotes for scouting and collecting resource cache spread around the map. The ideal boost for this time is the infantry scouting boost, which increases their movement speed and their vision, which is very useful for scouting. As you can see, I have upgraded my HQ to level 2 ASAP since I was thinking that the enemy was on the opposite side, so I wanna have naval or air units at my disposal. Always pay attention to the game's notifications. When I heard that the enemy was spotted, I knew that the enemy was on this side. Right now, I knew that it was too late for a rush and my priority was to scout the enemy base fully so I know what he plans to do or what he pa plans the to build. Now, take note. Only use single tap and when scouting say they will move and attack instead of stopping and attacking. Because your priority here is to give vision or get vision of the enemy base and not to destroy the enemy. So, it is ideal to build your barracks to the side nearest to the enemy location. It is also ideal to make it face there since a second traveling can be the difference between winning and losing a game. Construction complete. Enemy detected. Just give me your no problem. Here, I saw a barracks and a vehicle factory and a lot of heavy assaults which destroyed my or my scout directly which means the enemy is probably going to do a fortress infantry rush. So what I did was build a sniper tower so that I have a defense. Then my plan is to upgrade my barracks to level 3 ASAP so I have access to snipers which is very effective against infantry and light vehicles. So again, keep exploring the map and look for the supply cache.
here you can see me tap the enemy construction yard which makes me estimate if he can build a shipyard or not so here an ideal supply yard you want to have is 3 to 4 in the early to mid game 5 to 7 is ideal in the late game Again, scouting the enemy is important. Now I know that he has two barracks and a lot of infantry and here we see the fortress. So all I have to do is simply counter this. Insufficient energy. I'm already. Don't worry about it. Insufficient energy. Insufficient energy. Place the building. Right now, the enemy wants to know if I have enough units to defend, so I don't give him this information and I kill this scout ASAP. Don't let your enemy know your base or your units because this can be disadvantageous to your side. So now, seeing my sniper tower, the enemy probably thinks that I am well prepared and he is hesitating to attack. So it's most likely that he wants to transition from fortress infantry to tanks and maybe naval units to counter this. So I build an avia factory for dragonflies which are good for two things. They are good for scouting and they deal with enemy tanks and infantry and they are also good for giving vision to your units. Now I place the point or the rally point of my dragonfly or avia factory here so that my dragonfly will automatically go here and I won't risk being discovered. Now the thing here is to not let the enemy know that I am building air units. So the army I want to have here is snipers to counter the infantry, <coughs> grenadiers for the armor and buildings, Armadillos. They will serve as the tank which will take the damage and deal damage to enemy armor such as the fortress. 
Now Dragonflies will give me vision, aerial advantage, and the damage. Now, that is why I am upgrading my vehicle factory and my barracks ASAP to achieve this kind of army. Resource container detected. The fuse activated. Now, again, the enemy is trying to scout, kill the scout, and he must not discover what unit I have at all costs. Now, at this moment, I have three things in mind. The enemy spent resources building a shipyard and a delta. Number two, he is probably shocked seeing my dragonflies and knows he has no counterplay against them except for the infantry. And three, since I have been discovered, I need to attack ASAP before the enemy can do a counterplay. So as you can see, I slowly route my units to the enemy base. And here, the enemy thinks that I am going for a dragonfly spam, so he tries to defend it with his heavy assault, but my dragonflies outrange them. I just put them on hold mode so that they won't go closer to the enemies. Now, as you can see, most of the enemy units are here now, so I can confidently attack on the other side. And here, for some reason, I accidentally moved my dragonflies to the enemy units, which I almost threw the game because of that. Here, I am attacking, but I am also doing many things. As you can see, I am microing or making sure the dragonflies are away from danger. Number two, I am producing new units at my base. And I set the rally point in the area so they will immediately go there when they are produced.
Now, I made the mistake of killing my army entirely, but I see that he has no defenders. So, my job is to annoy him and slowly destroy all unit producing buildings and power the And at this point, it is a win. And that's it today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your battles. See you next is over and out.